This is Christine from Eyes on You, and I wanted to show you a sheet that I created for uh, a formulation calculator. Okay, so uh, the, the purpose of this sheet is to transfer percentages into grams, ounces, or pounds. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick tutorial. Uh, so right here, you enter in the recipe name, and right here, you would enter in uh, the description of the product. So I would, I usually enter in uh, what I would be selling this product for. You know, is this good for aging, good for your skin, whatever the case may be. Uh, this section here is for the batch size, okay? All right, so we're gonna put the batch size in grams. Right now it's at 500 grams. And that's 17 ounces and 1.1 1. Uh, 1 .1 pounds. Okay, so we can change this to 400. And it calculates the ounces and pounds for the gram batch size that you choose. Okay. Right here, you enter in your ingredients. And right here for your phases. Okay, and then right here you enter the category. Um, this is not a drop down. You would actually enter this in, but you can put in a, a you know, foundation, emulsifier, humectant, surfactant, pH modifier, uh, modifier, whichever uh, the category is for that particular ingredient. And right here, um, you enter in the percentage of the percentage of that particular ingredient okay and then this calculates the grams this calculates the ounces and this calculates the pounds and I added in a category for the expiration date for each one of these ingredients down here you get the total of grams ounces and pounds and right here is the total percentage of your recipe, which should always be 100. Okay, so I'm gonna enter in an ingredient. Um, even though we already had our, our recipe at 100%, just to show you how simple it is, I'm gonna just add in the ingredient. So let's just say if I added sugar as an exfoliant, add 100%. Okay, so you see it automatically gave me the grams, the ounces, and the pounds. And it changed my percentages to 200, but that's okay. This is just an example, okay? Anything that is in these pink shaded areas are formulas, all right? So it should automatically calculate for you. All right. And then uh, down here is where you put the method. So right now I have in the heated phase and the cool down phase, but you know, if it was a, a more challenging recipe, you can add in a uh, combined separately or, you know, heat to the temperature of whatever and, you know, whatever the case may be, you put your method here uh, in this category. And then down here is for notes and observations. And your notes can be uh, the testing. So it can be your freeze, unfreeze, freeze again, and so forth with the dates, or you can do the excessive heat test. Um, you can do the, you know, add in your textures, at what part of testing, whatever is uh, 